Kirk Fletcher here. Got my brother swag on. <laughs> C.T. Fletcher coming, playing some guitar, having a little fun. A couple things I wanted to talk about was, you know, some sort of uh, motif style playing. You know, having like a concept of what you want to say, having an idea of, uh, you know, what you're trying to play, you know, and not just play random licks and things like that, which is fine. But, you know, my style of playing is, you know, sticking with a theme, sort of, you know, and like thinking melody. But to break that down to as simple as form, you know, it's like, uh, say, for instance, you take something like... And see, this type of playing, you really have to um, think about, you know, things like, you know, getting a good sound, you know, a good note. I mean, just acoustically, the guitar, you know, just getting, working on your touch, you know, in vibrato. Those two things are key to this type of playing, you know, the real, you know, like sort of melodic, bluesy playing, you know. I mean, that's a life work for me, you know, just trying to get the, you know, nicest note I possibly can within my power. You know, just simple stuff like that, you know, just really trying to milk it for all it's worth, you know. You can get a lot of mileage out of just playing, picking at different positions on the guitar too, you know, like if you want to like, you know, without turning up, you can even get more volume or whatever by just going... Or, or turning to the side of your pick like I generally do most of the time. Yeah, so that's, you know, just maybe some tips to think about when approaching the solo, you know, just kind of having a theme, you know, starting off really slow with just a few notes, you know, and building from there. Another thing I would like to talk about, too, is guitars. You know, I don't talk about guitars too much, you know, but um, one thing, the mark of a great guitar for me is one that you can plug in to any amp and it will sound great and have a sort of a personality to it you know i mean you can i've had to play through so many backline amps and everything like that and if you have a great guitar no matter what you plug into it it'll have its own sustain its own richness and everything you know found in a lot of vintage guitars and also um, new guitars too if you find the right one can have these qualities in it you know it should have a natural sustain all its own for blues playing, you know. I mean, I'm playing super quiet through my Boss Katana amp right now, you know, but the guitar has sustain in it all by itself, you know. You know, and I really look for that in, you know, all different kinds of guitars, but that kind of sustain and like a warm, 
you know, sound, and then you can make it brighter if you need to or whatever like that. But I tend to go towards a more warmer sounding guitar, you know. Sometimes if you play a telly or something like that, you might be looking for something different. But, you know, mostly it's a warm sound. I've gravitated towards a warm sound ever since I was young, even playing a lot of strats and stuff like that, you know. I would, you know, try and get the warmer kind of sound out of the strat, kind of different, you know, more... You know, Bell pretty like Jimi Hendrix on the neck pickup. You know, I would gravitate more towards that sound. You know, our door brand all too. You know, those kind of warmer, meaty, you know, kind of tones and stuff like that. So, everybody, happy Friday. Just wanted to take a little time and share a few guitar tips. All right. Take care, everybody.